Good morning. Today is Wednesday, December 18th. Um, it's been a while. Um, I did vlog, like, for a few days, but I never uploaded it to the computer to edit and everything, so I just deleted all of them. It would have been way too long anyway. Um, I'm feeling much better. Not that I was sick. I did feel sick. I just, you know, the mucus in my throat is way down in thickness. So that was relief. I thought for sure, like, this weekend I was going to have to call the doctor again to go in, and I did not want that because I would have cried <laughs> to him. Um, but, you know, I think over the weekend, I forget when the tea came. Like, I, the tea came over the weekend, and I had a cup when it came, and it helped a little bit loosen the stuff up. And um, then I had three more cups, well, two and a half more cups of the tea the following day. And it definitely helped. And because uh, Monday I went to the movies with some of the people from the group. We saw the new Jumanji movie that came out the weekend. And it was good. And I was still coughing. And it, the mucus still felt thick and in there but not as bad as it has been over the last couple weeks and we were talking about it and said it takes time so it was weird by the time I got home because we went to the movies and we went to eat and by the time I got home I somehow I felt I mean I still was coughing but it felt better like all of a sudden the mucus thinned out or whatever so, I was okay yesterday. Um, today I'm okay. I'm still fine. I mean, I mean, I think it, there's still stuff in there, but it's nowhere as near as thick as it has been. And I'm still coughing, though I don't think as much as I have been over the last few days. Um, I should still take the cough medicine, but I have it because it makes you sleepy. So, so I'm good with that. So, let's see. Um, today, I'm going to be doing some baking for tomorrow for our um, group, Brie McGroup little Christmas party. I'm going to be making these walnut, but walnut bars. Um, these, this recipe was from um, my dad, well, my grandparents, my dad's parents' neighbor. She was a really good baker. And... I think she, my mom got this recipe from her. And, um, she's so going to be making that. And I'm using butter instead of margarine. margarine. And brown sugar, flour, um, oats, and chocolate chips. These are the espresso ones. And, um, eggs. I need egg yolks, and they're still in the refrigerator. Right now, the um, butter is sitting out to soften. And look how little the butter is. They're quarter sticks. So I had to take four out. I did not realize that when I bought this. Um, when I went to the grocery store. And then I think Friday night or Friday I'm going to be making the mandel bread for Saturday. And I will, you can see the recipe. Um, it doesn't say, because once you bake the pans, you cut them. And then you put them on a cookie sheet so you can brown them, sort of like biscotti. But it never said how long it takes to um, put them after you cut them. So I was looking at my grandmother's recipe box and she had the same recipe. Obviously, because this is my mom's, you know. So I looked on Pinterest and all the ones I found for mando bread, they make it like they would for a biscotti and they cut it they you know put it in a, a like a they shape it in a loaf and then they bake it and then they cut it like biscotti but it's not well it's I call it the Jewish we've been calling it the Jewish biscotti but yeah so then I decided to look at this recipe book um, that my mom had for ever since I was around 40 plus years and it just so happened that there were some recipes from Mondo Red and lo and behold this is kind of the recipe she uses 
for um, hers, but um, I didn't see any butter or anything. Uh, the measurements, I think, are somewhat off, but this is a recipe, and it helps me tell me what to do um, when mixing things up and stuff, and how to, you know, how long to bake the um, mandel bread once it's cut. So it gives me an idea what to do. So that's helpful. So I'll be doing that Friday. Um, this weekend, Friday, last Friday, um, we went to Suncoast and we drew names for the get together for fry, for Christmas. And I picked, I drew this one guy and I'm looking at it and I'm like, ugh. But one of the things he asked for was Kansas City Chief stuff. And I'm like, oh, okay. So that night I looked on Amazon and I ordered something from there. And it, I'm like, it should be, it should have been here yesterday. But I kept checking the tracking. And because it was supposed to be here like last night around 8 o'clock. And then I looked on the tracking and it said it was delayed. And I'm like, great. So I canceled the order and I looked for something else. And I ordered something else. It was a little bit more money. Than the what I first ordered and hopefully that should be here Friday because <laughs> it's supposedly prime and if it's not here if it does that steam stunt again I'm gonna cancel again I'm gonna get a gift card for somewhere because I'm cutting it close I mean it's hard for me to get out to do you know well it's not hard for me to get out but you know what he's asking for it's hard to find stuff here so yesterday I went to pay the property taxes and I usually go to the assessor's office you know that's close to me well there's only two places you can go <laughs> um, I usually go to the one that's close but I remember the last time I paid the property tax right after she passed that because um, I mentioned that you know that she passed away and the woman's like, you have to go to the treasurer's office. This is the assessor's office. And I'm like, okay. And I remember that in the back of my head. But in the meantime, you know, between me paying the property taxes this time and the last time I went to pay them, I went to the lawyer to get my name on the house. So it went, because I did that, they put sent it to the county, put my name on the record. So it's our... I don't know what I should have remembered that that my name's already on the property taxes for next year so, but anyway I went to the county in downtown and um, first I went to the treasurer's office and I paid the taxes and I you know told him my deal so he sent me to go upstairs to the assessor's office no the recorders and um, tell them so I went upstairs to the assessors to the recorder. They're in the same area because record recorder and assessors are in the same area, just like the one that I should have went to. Um, so I explained to her, and then she had me go across down the way to talk to the records guy, and he looked it up. And yeah, my name was on the on the thing. I'm like, okay. It's all because of that woman at the county, I mean, at the assessor's office last time, you know, told me to go to the treasurer's office. So I wasted, like, it cost me eight something there and 12 something come home. But I didn't come home, I didn't go home from the county building. <laughs> um, so it did, plus it didn't take me that long to pay everything because I went. Um, the county office just opened. I think they op they opened at eight, and I think I got there around nine, around or eight thirty nine o'clock. So I was like, took me like five minutes to do everything to you know hop around the building and get out. So the there's it's not really well it is an outlet mall downtown. It's outdoor. And it's like right across, almost right across the street from the county building. So I went, walked over there to look around. And I should have looked at sporting stuff, 
but I did it. I just did it because I thought it would be easier to get an Uber from there than it was for the, um, at the county. Not that I had a problem getting to the county building uh, with the Uber, but anyway. So I went there, looked around. I saw the Hello Kitty Cafe truck. You know, they have a food truck. Expensive stuff there. <laughs> and then um, I looked at the Disney store. That was the only place I really looked at. I mean, it wasn't even busy at that mall. Of course, it was way early. <laughs> um, uh, but still, it wasn't busy. And then I you know, tried to find my way out. <laughs> Because I knew there was probably a place for um, Uber and Lyft pick up and drop off. So that's why I went to find. And I found it. And came home and that cost me like 12 bucks or something like that. Some ridiculous amount. So I'm like, I should have went to where I usually go and not messed with it. But I didn't know. <laughs> so now I know. Well, next time I won't be going down there. I'll just be going to the one I usually go to. And pay more money. But anyway, I fi as you can see, I finished the last diamond painting and I started this one. And this is what it will look like. And I should be getting um, another diamond painting, I think Friday it should be here. At least that's what the tracking says. And I don't know when the other two are coming because it's still somewhere in China. But. And... The canvas by number, because I emailed her, my representative, and I told her, and I sent her pictures of everything and the paint color and all that, and she's going to, she wrote back to me the other day, and she's going to send me, she apologized, and they're redoing it, and resending me the one that I wanted, because I also sent the link of the one that I actually said I wanted, and not this one. She's doing that, and then here is the one that I just finished. And what else is going on? Um, nothing other than that, nothing much going on. So I think I'm going to end it here, and see you guys later. So since I last talked to you guys, I plugged in the camera to charge up and while I was doing that I made the walnut bars and the chips I used were Nestle's espresso chocolate chips um, that's all I had well I had those espresso chips and these espresso chips that I got a while back at um, Walmart but I decided to use the Nestle ones because Nestle's is the very best <laughs> <laughs> I need to straighten this baking drawer out and I haven't I have to still cut into it and of course I'll probably try one to see if they came out all right well I hope so because I don't know what else to um to do well I do have another idea so since I last spoke like a couple hours ago, I put the phone, not the phone, I put the camera to charge for a bit. And while it was doing that, I had breakfast and then I made the walnut bars. And for chocolate chips, because I didn't have any plain chocolate chips, I have a couple bags of espresso. One, which I used, was I got a couple weeks ago, which was the Nestle Toll House espresso espresso chips and I also have from Walmart that I got a while back um, these Rex coffee espresso chips and I gotta straighten out this drawer <laughs> so it's cooled off and I just have to cut them out put them in a container of course I'll probably try one Hopefully they'll taste good. <laughs> and when I was looking for recipes to make for Thursday, I pulled this one out because I had everything. And I also pulled out this one, both from the same person. Um, butternut Chewies. 
And I have everything in here as well. So I might make these tomorrow because <laughs> I was thinking of doing, making them and then do bring a little bit of, well not a little bit, bring some of each but, and then keep some here. <laughs> uh, so there's always a secret to my madness. But anyway, um, then I had lunch because this recipe calls for two egg yolks. So I kept the whites. And I had them for lunch, along with a bagel with cream cheese. And then iced coffee, because I made too much coffee in the morning. The last couple times I made the four cup, and this time I added too much water. and made it six cups. And, yeah, not too much. Um, I've been working on the diamond painting, and I was watching Disney+. Plus. I was watching Sleeping Beauty. Uh, haven't seen that movie in a long time. And I also watched this morning um, Lady and the Tramp. I actually started it last night. And then I stopped it to watch Big Bang Theory on TBS. And um, so I watched, finished watching it this morning because there was nothing else on. And I haven't seen that movie in a long time either. The last time I've seen those... I remember seeing those movies when I was little in the theater when they re re when Disney released them, and I went with friends friends of my parents because they wanted to see them, and uh, they felt weird going to the movies to see a kids' movie, so they brought me, and um, so that's what I've been doing. I'll probably watch the extras. That's a nice thing about Disney Plus. They do include some of the extras that are on the DVDs. Not all the movies. I wish they did. But um, this one has some deleted scenes. And this one has the making of Sleeping Beauty. I watched Peter Pan the other day. And they they had deleted scenes. And a couple. And one other thing. And Lady and Tramp, all they had was deleted scenes. I wish they had, like, well, I don't know what they had on the DVDs. But I wish they had, like, the making of and stuff. More of the extras that are on the DVDs. I wish they were, you know, wish they were on here. But anyway, and then I've been checking my email to see if Amazon shipped my package that I need for Christmas. You know, for a gift for the grab bag. And supposedly, you know, when I ordered it last night, they said it was going to be shipped, I mean, delivered on Friday, which is fine. But it hasn't shipped yet. <laughs> and I'm waiting it, waiting for it to say ship so I can relax a little bit. Because if it isn't um, shipped by tomorrow or tonight, I'm going to have to cancel it and think of a backup. And I don't know what that backup is. Well, the backup would probably be a gift card. So, yeah, that's a little frustrating. But I guess that's what, what I get for ordering stuff a week before Christmas. But the first thing I ordered, because um, we drew names last Friday, and I ordered it when I got home. I found something and ordered it when I got home. And like I said, it was supposed to be delivered by last night, and it wasn't, and it said it was delayed. So I canceled that one and ordered this item. It's kind of the same thing, but, you know, different, obviously. But, um, so that one said it should be delivered to Friday, so we'll see. I'm really hoping it ships out. And, um, so, yep, and working on it. I'm almost done with this row. I'm really liking it. I've been wanting to do this one for a long time. So, yep, that's what's going on for right now. So, see you guys in a bit, or later. So, I just got an email a little while ago, and this is the Amazon app on the, phone, on the iPhone. And they notified me that the item I ordered last night 
which is this guy right here, has been shipped. It should be here Friday, so I'm relieved that it's shipped. I'll be more relieved when it gets here, and hopefully Friday, so I can wrap everything. You know, I have this for the grab bag for Christmas, and then I have the $10 grab bag gift for the party on Saturday. And I'll do all that then, and then I have to find a baby picture um, for Saturday as well before I forget to do that. I have lots of pictures. <laughs> I have to find a cute or funny one. Well, they're all cute. It's me. <laughs> so, yeah. Find that and get that ready. And then this is my bourbon, and that should be here New Year's Eve. I have plenty left. Um, I have a subscription for it. And this time it's going to be cheaper. Not by much, but it's going to be cheaper. So, I'm relieved about it. So, that's a little update on that. And I finished the first row. Because they have them in, this one has them in strips. That much. There's one, two, three, four, five strips. So, easier going this way and this way so anyway that's it for right now see you guys later so I cleaned up you know what I did today and I ate dinner and excuse me after I ate I came in here to cut these up and to put them in here for tomorrow and they look terrible <laughs> you can see like they're splitting and this one of them's okay. This one's not too terrible. But I don't know. I'm definitely making the other thing that I was planning on making. Probably tonight once I figure out what to do. Where to put this. Because <laughs> um, I can't bring these here. This is embarrassing. And I like to bake. I haven't done it in forever. But um, yeah. And I even. I did grease but, well, butter margarine the pan before putting this part in in the pan and I don't I usually buy Pam but I haven't bought it because I need to but it's so expensive I didn't buy it so I've been using um, I can't believe and wax paper just spreading it all over the pan that's what I've been doing when I make banana bread and uh, so yeah I guess I didn't put enough of that in the pan because I wasn't sure because there's like a cup of butter in here <laughs> that's a lot I mean but anyway I'm so disappointed ah well I'm gonna mess with this and bake something else <laughs> so see you guys and hopefully that will turn out better but see you guys so this is the new thing I made and I took it out of the oven about 11 minutes ago. It's called Butternut Chewies. And it's got about four more minutes to cool before I can cut it into bars. And before I put the batter into the pan, I buttered the bottom of this pan and the sides like crazy. <laughs> so I, hopefully nothing will stick to the bottom. And I don't need to put these in another container because this pan comes with a lid. So all I have to do tomorrow, you know, after I cut it, is put the lid on it. And um, I'm going to bring a spatula with me for this so that they can, you know, take a piece out easily, hopefully. <laughs> so hopefully that will be good. I'm worried about making the mandel bread Friday because I never made it before by myself. I watched my mom once and I think that was a long time ago making making it and I'm really hoping it'll turn out because <laughs> I used to bake all the time especially back in when we lived in Chicago because you know I worked and my dad worked and my mom worked and she would bake a lot for work and I would bake a lot for work and my um, art group back in Chicago and then we moved here well 
group got disbanded when the hurt lady we went to, house we went to moved and then you know I hardly baked anything and my mom and then we moved here and you know I hardly baked anything and my mom always complained how come you don't bake as what bake anymore you used to bake all the time and so did she but you know she got sick so maybe I lost my touch <laughs> but yeah so this is gonna almost time for this to be cool be ready to cut I think and it's still a little warm May we may wait a little bit longer and I'm gonna edit this vlog and post it on YouTube and watch TV and so I'll see you guys later.